proceed. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, Madam Chair and honorable members of this um, county council. For the record, I am Laverna Mori, acting director for the Department of Research and Development, and with me is Lois Nishida, our administrative services assistant. I'd like to begin by um, expressing how humbled I am by the testimonies that I heard this morning. It just speaks to the great work that uh, our department has done with the community, and I appreciate the time that all of them took to come in to testify this morning. Um, the fiscal year 13-14 budget before you totals $2,507,000 and it represents 15% reduction from our current fiscal year. For every dollar that we fund for a program or project, an average of $3 is leveraged from in-kind services and other sources of income. So in essence, that $1 translates to $3 of economic impact to our island's economy to continue and support new and existing industries and programs. Um, so multiplied, if it's for every dollar we spend, we get a return of $3. It's over a million dollars in foregone economic opportunity for our communities. The reduction represents the priorities are 330,000 cut in program funding as well as two key program specialist positions. The 330,000 cut um, directly affects ag, agriculture in uh, $50,000 cut, our tourism is 175,000 cut, our film industry at 32,000, energy at 50, and our business development at 25. At the core of operations is our program funding, and it is the economic stimulus at the county level. This funding is our way to support our major industries and programs for projects and initiatives that will make an economic difference. With this reduction, we will have limited ability to respond to, address, and or support the following. Environmental and invasive outbreaks that threaten our agriculture industry research and development of new agriculture products and business opportunities while ensuring that all the resources are used responsibly. We, um, it, as you can tell the, uh, from the testimonies, it would affect the soil and water conservation districts. It would affect um, us continuing more support of natural farming. It uh, will, it, it would, um, decrease our ability to support the tourism industry in increasing airlift and wholesaler support to build demand to the island from key gateways. Especially important is to secure flights to our Kona Airport because the Oahu Airport is at its maximum and we need to bring more flights into our Kona Airport. We need to incentivize activities and investors to bring new activities or businesses, such as the National Travel Association um, to the island. The STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math initiatives can, that can provide significant opportunities to the future of our island's workforce and to our island's youth. Renewable energy projects will be effective um, as we're trying to look at the high cost of energy. An implementation of the recommendations from the Hawaii County Food Self-Sufficiency Baseline Study to keep ongoing attention to our local food security. Even more devastating is the funding, unfunding of two of our program specialist positions, the ag agriculture specialist and the sustainability coordinator. Our positions are essential to the support and management of program funds, but the staff is not only managing the program funds and initiatives, but they serve as neutral conveners and facilitators of dialogue and are cross communicators within their respective industries. They are the champions, the advocates, and the first responders when there's a crisis in any industry and are looked upon as a beacon of support and response. I had the opportunity to meet with each and every one of you to share what we do as a department, but more important, our department had a chance to listen to your experiences and your challenges in each of your districts and the island as a whole. We look forward to a collaborative force to address some of these challenges. 
When we look around this very special island in, on, in which we live, we can circle back and see all our major industries like agriculture, tourism, science and te technology and energy. We must remain diligent in our collective efforts to support these industries so we can continue to improve the general well-being of our island communities. We may not be the department that saves lives, but we can save the livelihoods of our communities. I thank you for allowing me to share my concerns and ask for your support to fund our budget at least at the current fiscal year level. Mahalo. Thank you. Um, questions from uh, Council Member Ford? I'm looking at your line item budget. If you could open that for me, please. I'm looking under ag, and you mentioned invasive species control or assistance. Uh, would you tell the council what type of assistance you have provided in the past and what assistance you anticipate in the future? We have um, supported uh, the fire ants, and um, I think there's more conversation that has happened um, because of Miss Willie's conversation with us. Uh, we have supported a, a coffee berry borer, um, invasive species. Excuse me, when you say supported, exactly what did you do? We have um, worked with the, um, the extension services um, and with the Department of Agriculture to bring in, um, to collaborate to bring workshops to the islands so we can provide more education. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other questions? Um, Council Member Willie? Uh, I'm wondering if at this point we don't need to have a, a separate Department of Agriculture. Um, a few years ago when the Charter Commission was up, I proposed that um, on the basis that really this is a key area and an area that we need more leadership. And um, Randy, uh, the administration, um, said, Let, now Mark, uh, let's not do that. Let's put the money into the programs and not into the management. And um, I thought, okay, that sounds good. And I withdrew my proposed, um, my proposal to do the new department. But at this point, I just don't feel that it's happening. And I think maybe it's a matter of leadership and a matter of someone getting in there and getting the adequate funding and getting the adequate programs. Um, the fact that did I left, I think she gave her notice to leave <laughs> over a year ago, and we're just now advertising for that single position. That single position is empty. Um, there's no, uh, we don't have a, you're in an acting position. Uh, we don't really have a, sort of a, a permanent leader there. We don't have, we haven't filled the one ag position that we had and the other ag, key ag position is in the um, real estate tax and we don't have the ag specialist in there. In fact, they're unfunded. Um, I just see that it's, we're going in the wrong direction. We have Jeff Melrose doing baseline studies. We have everyone, the, the governor, the mayor, everyone talking. Ag is like the critical area for us. We are the breadbasket. It's all the food that's here um, is on this island and yet I, I just don't see it, and I'm just trying to figure out where the breakdown is, and maybe if we did have a separate department that, that where there was more leadership specific to agriculture, it would happen. So um, at the same time, I don't see the money coming in. Where are we getting the number of grants? I look at how many grants are being brought in in the other counties. It's way above ours. Um, so. I guess this is a, a really critical area. I'm chair of that.
committee. I see the fire ant. That was something I did just my own personal self, going around to the, when you were doing the County of Hawaii um, ag policy. I, to me, that's just shelved. All of these things are shelved. And I just find it really depressing. Um, and I'm not saying this anything personal to you or any individual. We have, I don't think staff should have been moved from this department over to the mayor's cabinet or personal whatever that cabinet those positions are um, and again it's not I'm not trying to be critical personally to the mayor but I just don't see the leadership I mean I asked him at one of the <laughs> why may a community association meetings where is our leadership in AG and he said me and I said well that's not enough you know like let's I mean is AG important in this county I mean and so I just um, you know maybe maybe it is we just need a separate department and um, and let's take that AG policy I mean I went to those meetings I went to well at least four or five of them in different areas and and it was at one of them where they were all saying well the fire ants if we don't do anything about the fire ants why are we bothering with this policy and that's what I said let's do a giant poster and get this bring it to the council and get it done so and yet I don't feel like when we went through that the other day and I look at what we put in that Linda Co Pete Hoffman's assistant and I and Pete and just said let's get it that things don't move around this island unless someone says you got to test it just those basics never happen and I believe that if those little things we put in there that were basically education oriented we would not be in the position we are with fire ants now so I'm looking at not just to hear you need another little bit of money here and we need a little bit of money there. Maybe if you said we need 10 grant writers and they'll each get 10% of what they bring in, maybe there's something along that. Here comes Buddy <laughs> Jeff. You know, I just, let's have a real, you know, let's make Jeff Melrose's baseline study mean something now. And including, I think, the whole issues on civil defense, you bring those up and that's in your plan. Um, you know, where is that? Or important ag land, I think it says you've, I don't know, achieved 25% or something percent, and that's really because Parker Ranch and submitted their application. I mean, I think our county's the only one that hasn't submitted its plan. We were required we're required by statute to do a plan. I'm ready to say all ag land is ag, important ag, unless you opt out. Yeah. You know, let's. I, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I know, know my third, time's no, up. I, I was going to say, if you wanted Let to. Let her have her time. No, no, her okay. que a question, uh, the 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah, so what do you think? Question. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> With all that. <laughs> do you have another suggestion? Um, well, I, I tend to agree okay. that with the economic um, condition of where we are at, uh, forming another department would be very, very tough. However, I can say that we had an incredible ag specialist in Dai Dai. When she retired after 20 years, we really had to look at the position and really work on the position description of what we were looking for when we hire again. And it did take a little longer than we wanted to. So now we um, have redone the position descriptions and a lot of these, um, what we're looking for is someone who will be looking at the agriculture sustainability and um, to bring in industries as well. Uh, we need to, um, and that's why Jeff is um, within R&D right now to take care of the study that he did to make sure that it doesn't sit on the shelf. Um, and what were your other... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, if you want to go ahead and have other people ask specific questions, I'm. Go to Council Member um, uh, Kanuha first and then. Aloha. You, Aloha. And thank you for everything that you do. But I had, I also want, I could go off, uh, go on um, with uh, Miss Willie's conversation too, and how important ag is in, with our county and the position that needs to be filled is really, really important. But another 
another position and another thing that our county is dealing with is energy. And the uh, energy coordinator I was looking is currently going to be unfunded. Yeah? Is it? It's, it's funded right now. Yeah. Who's it's the it's energy sustainability. coordinator? Energy coordinator is Will Ralston. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, his position is not funded. Okay, the sustainability it's one. It's funded. Yes, sustainability. Okay. That, that definitely needs to be part of it. And I, I'm, I'm, I hopefully that we can get these positions funded because of how important they are to our county. And um, also the tourism. Number one industry, we need to keep on getting and keep on pushing for more tourism within our county. It's it's big, it's big especially for the Hilo area. I know the mayor has been has been hammering, especially on the Hilo, um, the, whole, the Banyan Drive. Yes. It's really important, and even even on the west side, uh, the level of tourism over there needs to also. It's starting to increase already, but I think that's really important. But too. we need to continue. Yeah. So support. thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Council Member Elegan. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, first off, I just wanted to say um, Council Member Willie is, is right. Mm -hmm. Agriculture is important. And I also want to commend you, Director Mori, because you have to deal with a department that has been dissected. And you, you're working with what you have right now. And I understand that one of the one of the things that I wanted to mention was what Councilmember Kanuha mentioned about energy. I in my district we have geothermal and I wanted to get the opinion from our energy specialist or coordinator and I wanted to have that discussion but because he's on the west side it was hard I to do. I believe he is there. Oh, okay. So that's how he looks. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. So I, I actually wanted to have that discussion, but this is not the time and place to have that in-depth um, talk. But I just wanted to um, mention that you are a great resource because you have all these expertise. And one of the things that I want to encourage with uh, ag specialists that I'm looking to support is that we do hire a specialist, someone who has that background, who's been involved in that. Because what I've started to understand with government sometimes is that we hire someone and we call that person a specialist. And I just want to encourage you to find someone in the community who has that background and will provide that benefit to the community and um, my question is what do you think? Oh no, I totally agree with you, and which is why uh, I think the recruitment of this specialist took a little longer because we had to come up with specific questions pertaining to our island, and with that we will get the um, we had um, supplemental questions that are asked other than just the resume and experience of the person that pertains directly to our island. Thank you, Director. Thank you. Um, Council Member Ford. Do you have grant writers in your office? We currently have one uh, grant specialist, which is Beth Dykstra. And how? what kind of grants do you write? She just lends support to all the different departments that come in to um, ask if that's an, an appropriate um, Fun, funding source that she should that they should go after. She helps them put all their paperwork together and finds out more statistics that they can add to their report. She does apply for certain grants, but is not does not write all the grants. Okay. Yeah, I've worked with Andy. with that individual and it's been very helpful. She's very very knowledgeable. Um, yes. How, uh, however, um, I think uh, some departments I think may have developed their some real expert grant writers within their departments. Mm -hmm. And it may be that there's other departments that don't quite have that kind of expertise. 
um, inside their departments. And so I would kind of look to you guys to help out. You're kind of a, in some ways, you're the jack of all trades when it comes to different things. So, um, um, are you going? Are you planning any time in the future to increase grant writers to to help those departments that don't have that in-house expertise? I think I'd, I really would like to end um, what Miss Willie had brought up. Also, was to look at a pool of of people that m might be out there that we can um, compensate them by the amount of money that they bring in and not having them on staff. That would be fine. That would, In fact, I think that's an excellent way to do it. Um, most grant writers in a normal situation, they get a percentage. Um, okay, I just, I just kind of want to get that clarified because um, I think when it comes to ag, I think there's probably a lot of grants out there uh, we don't have a Department of Ag, as we all know. I And I understand what you're saying, that right now we couldn't afford to put the management team together for a new department, financially. Um, so I can, I can accept that. However, I think that... Um, I think now this is not a reflection on anyone because I've worked with Dai Dai and I know what she can do. Yes. All right. But we do a lot of talking about ag and my district happens to be all ag and all rural. I, I hardly have anything left that's even quasi urbanized. Um, but my perception is, especially when it comes to these invasive species, and we've got at least five that we let run amok on this island um, without taking <coughs> s uh, sufficient um, care of the problem. We talk a lot about ag. We talk about being the breadbasket, and we're not. We can't even feed this island. We've got about, depending on who you talk to, seven to ten days of food, and that's it. We all starve. Um, so when I look at the ag section, I, I feel that we are not applying for sufficient grants and there's no, but there is no department to do that. It's up to you guys to do those grants and I'm not seeing it. I do agree that the professional help that we need to put together a grant is there, but there's nobody to write the grant. And I'm, frankly, I'm, I'm feeling that in my section quite a bit. Um, I've got some stuff going on and I've had to reach out to the community and ask some very talented people for some assistance. And um, they're doing what they can, but it's, and I, I, the shame on me for saying this, it's not our job as council members to be writing grants, but at the same time, the ag situation is dire. We're not getting grants. We've got invasive species all over the place. My staff got bit this last weekend by fire ants. So we got trouble. And I don't know what to do about the situation because ag is, honestly, it has fallen by the wayside. Um, food sustainability is a hot topic. Um, but everybody, you know, talks about planting more coffee farms. And I grow coffee. I'm not against coffee farms. But that's not, I keep saying, that's not what you feed your child to go to school on. We need more help. And I'm, I'm not convinced in this budget, uh, whether it's been reduced or not, that adequate funding for ag is in there. And you're the only department has anything to do with ag. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Thank you. Um, I've got a council member, Onishi, first, and Thank then I'll you. come to Ms. Yoff. Um, we had testimony today about um, some of um, members from the um, soil and um, water conservation district people came up. Um, and I, I looked at what the budget was. I mean, two years ago, I think they got funded maybe like 270000 and then this past fiscal day, I think they got like 300000 um, right, 300000 and then this coming fiscal, you guys can go, go back to twenty seven, right? So my question was to them was that, you know, you had something lower, then you got something higher, and then now you're going back to what you had before, so why can't you be able to budget yourself, right? And then they said, oh, they needed more manpower, or they was going to pay for this certain position, but then that's going within the whole county anyway. That's what we're looking at, right? Because I mean, like, you're getting uh, two positions unfunded, right? Because of the budgets. So, but my question to them was that they're a state agency. Is that correct? 
they, they come under the state. They're a quasi-government agency, whatever that means. Yeah, but the way they were saying it's like a state agency that they um, is under, I guess, I, know, I forget what agency or what department, or I think it was ag or whatever. Or but CS. then, but yeah. but then, but then they don't get any funds from the state, and they depend basically all on the county, and it, it's like why? Because they're doing um, pretty much the, the we're department of the public works on the grubbing and grading, the, or, um, the permits and things, they do all the plans, so then the, the, these farmers don't need to go into the Department of, of yeah, Public but the, Works. Like they mentioned today, but they have farmers on state land. I mean, it's like, I don't understand is that, you know, to me the state should be helping, providing some funding to them, and then with the help of the, count, the county, right? It's um, it's almost like the um, important ag lands and the soil and water conservation districts. These are things that that are mandated but not funded by the state. So it then becomes up to the county now to provide the support, and this is why we needed to set aside money. Okay. Okay. Then so now they mention about okay, like illegal grubbing and grading, right? And the fines are so so little. So if you if you folks feel that they, they need more funding, then why don't you guys work like with planning to see that, you know, if you can raise the fees that can help offset their expenses, right? And even like they're saying to get a permit is so cheap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you may be looking at how you guys can create revenue where it can be like, say, like raising a, a fee, like, like for example, and I got to bring back again, like DMV, right? And then like raising maybe a million dollars and part show of that money can go towards like planning department and also but to to you folks so you guys can provide them more funding. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's... It's a, it's a discussion we need to have with probably DPW. Yeah, right. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's one. And then... Um, Who's in charge of economic development for you folks? You mean the business development? Yeah. That would be Jane Harike. Oh, okay. Um, you can come up one fast one. And I just wanted to find out. Oh, you can introduce yourself. I'm Jane Oh, you can turn on your turn off your yeah turn it off yeah there you the go. bar oh okay. okay thank you I'm Jane Horike, um economic De development specialist okay you know, like because I'm the chair of that kind of development uh -huh. and um, I just was finding um well want to find out if you could provide any examples of any funding that you folks had provided to any businesses to help them start up our economy in he in the Big Island okay we are not able to uh, fund for profit businesses directly. However, um, I do fund the um, Hawaii Food Manufacturers Association, and that association um, supports manufacturers that are on this island, food manufacturers on this island. Um, I also have an um, enterprise zone program that helps businesses. What it does is, is it, it provides benefits, uh, well, tax holidays to businesses so that they can keep their money to um, uh, further their business or hire more people. So it's like the trade zone in the Hilo Airport, the old Hilo um, Airport? No, it's, it's, we have six designated areas on the island and um, um, what it's um, businesses in specific areas like agriculture, manufacturing, um, um, uh, especially or wholesaling um, can participate in this program. Okay, can you um, email me that? Those yes, different three, three, those yes, different locations. Yes, okay. I will. I will give you a packet. Okay. I think I will give, send each of the council members a packet, and we are proposing to make changes because um, the program is a 20-year program, and the 20 years are up in 2014. So we're in the process of undesignating the areas and redesignating the the different areas for another 20-year period. And would you know what your budget is? Um, okay. 
depending um, depending on what part of the budget if you say no, like uh, like what's on the you control of um, to give out yes like um, I believe this year it's forty thousand mm -hmm. um, previously it's been twenty five thousand but my focus has been on science and tech and science so and tech. the science and tech so I have um, been funding like Jim Kennedy's program who coordinates um, and tries to partner with other programs. Um, science and technology is a very expensive area and so we, uh, with the kind of budget I have, I can't do very much. Um, I, I, I uh, funded, say for example, a fab lab at YK High School and they bought two printers and um, with that experience, YK High School bought their own printer because they saw how it benefited the students in robotics and business and different areas, but without that experience, um, um, that would not have happened. They're also thinking about possibly entering, there's a challenge, just like robotics, in this, in this 3D printer area, there is a competition on Oahu and the students can, you know, participate in that and um, um, also like do business plans for products that they make and, and so this is like yeah. for Thank you. for the future. Thank you and that. You wanna continue with Yeah, the okay, question? yeah. Well just to add on that yeah in two weeks I will be attending in Honolulu the three D conference. Yes. yes. Oh okay. And then you ever heard about Pisces? Yes. Okay. How involved are you with Pisces? Um I haven't been except that I'm a part of a um this um science and tech group that we meet and we're um, at the university. Okay. Um, is it yeah. possible where for research and development in your position, can you send testimony in support of these kind of programs? Yes. Do you um, through through approval. Okay. Of a, okay. Yes. Maybe uh, because um, yes. right now it's going to the legislature and then the funding yes. is very important for Pisces. That's correct. Yeah. And so yes. I, yeah. We're also supporting the aviation um, yes, education. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you yes. folks are sending in testimony for that? Yes. Okay. Good. Very yes. good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the last thing is, um, I just want to say that um, we about the fire ants. Um, yes, I mean we're, we're no. Well, I've been working with Dr. Kaz, the Vanderwood, and you know we did. He did get some grant money from the tourism, Hawaii tourism. But you know, I guess it's hard sometimes for, I guess you know, your department or for like Beth to try and get funding or like through the egg or whatever but you know I guess sometimes we just got to look more outside and looking for other help to get funds coming in but thank you thank you um, council member Eoff thank you uh, thank you Laverne for um, all the work that you do and for reaching out to us individually I appreciated that but um, so looking at your budget which is really bare bones and a lot of p key positions are unfunded um, could you give us like just a rough estimate of what you think you would need to add to your budget in the ways of dollars um, and where you would place it in order to move forward on some of our um, agricultural initiatives and the studies like Mr. Melrose has begun to move us closer towards being focused on ag? Like how much in this next fiscal year would it take to begin? Right now I'm just asking that we um we go back at least to where we are funded right now. That's like about four hundred thousand dollars more. Yes, and that that, that crosses the industries. And although you see specific industries with specific um, um, accounts, we look we all work together. So mm -hmm. sometimes you know if we need to shift because it does affect that other industry, we can, we can all pool our monies as well to Thank address you. whatever the situation is at that time. So I was just um, wondering if that was that about that four hundred thousand yes. deficit. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Okay, so um, any other? Okay, uh, Council Member Willie, your mic is on. Can yeah, my mic's okay. on. Can go, I follow go up ahead. Now? Sure. I was waiting till if everybody. Everybody. Had, okay. Go ahead. Had a and, first um, time. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um. So on the grant writing, is that something that you're willing to like grab a hold of and, and it would take some direction here? I mean, I know when I met with Beth, it was really sending a list of 
lists of possible grants out that were for all over the nation and she added me to the list but it's just insurmountable you can't go and say Warren Lee add this in or add I mean I just sort of picked out 10 grants that I thought would have been great for us to be doing and it was like well we don't have time to do those yeah because she, she is the just the one person in, yeah, in the so, department I mean, so I, I am looking four at, years ago mm -hmm. I mean I don't know how aggressive you are you know are you going to fight for these things of course um, I am and, <laughs> um, I think and, we just got to stick to the okay, you know, asking okay. about program reviewing and questions and answers on their presentation and thank you um, Chair, thank for you. redirecting me. Thank you. I want. I need some fighters here. This is my ag energy water. What it really? It all gets lumped under you, and even like tourism that cuts across. I would like to take money away from Hawaii Tourism Authority and bring it down to the local level where we can do things. But I feel like we've got to show that we can really <laughs> handle it on this level, um, and in order to facilitate that. So I don't know. Your department is really important to me and I just want to empower you and not in whatever ways are possible and I just think that doing whether it is the grant writing is where I see one way that we're way below other counties and other entities um, and so I'll let it Thank, oh. thank you, Margaret. And I know we'll we'll work hard on that because um, I am your vice chair on that committee, and I am very um, invested in agriculture because that's the Hamakua area, and a lot of things are going on in Waipio and mm -hmm. along the Hamakua coastline. And I know that, so I am diving into it as well. So um, it will not end here, regardless of funding, um, even if I have to go back to grant writing. <laughs> Okay, so at this time, I see, are you going to go for a second round now? <laughs> Is it really quick? A minute. Okay, go ahead, uh, Council Member Elegant. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, um, since the Vice Chair for Economic Development, I was wondering if Stephanie could step up. And Surely. Aloha Council, I'm Stephanie Donahoe. I'm the Tourism Specialist for the Department of Research and Development. Could you tell the Council how much of an impact your position is to the community? My position is a unique one in that the county does not directly get involved in tourism initiatives, but it's our largest industry for the island. So last year with 1.5 million visitors to the island, it has a tremendous impact and trickle down. So my my role really is to manage the resources that get reinvested by our department from TAT, general funds that come back through our department in the form of Hawaii Tourism Authority coming down to the county level to address Council Member Willie's concerns. We receive a $400,000 grant at the county level for from the Hawaii Tourism Authority for product development so that our visitors, who the majority of whom are coming um, to our island, not as their first visit to Hawaii, but as their second or third, but they continue to come back to ours, um, to make certain that that gets ba put back into the community so that tourism has an impact beyond the resort areas. So it funds things like the Ka'u Coffee Festival and the Taste of the Hawaiian Range. We've been talking a lot about agriculture, so there's so much overlap between the visitor industry and the rest of the departments. But I am sort of the the big monkey in our department because so much of the funding that comes to research and development goes to support that industry um, because it's our key industry. Six of our top ten employers are tourism industry employers. But my role is really to help convene and, and bring together those groups that recognize there's a challenge, but don't necessarily know whose kuleana the challenge falls within. So I will get involved in things like Mitch Roth pointing out, hey, we've got a problem where tourism employees who are catching the three o'clock bus in the morning to get down to the visitor properties in front of our soccer fields um, are going to the restroom on the soccer fields because they've driven in from Kao and they've drank their coffee all the way here and we don't have a public restroom open. Can we bring a group together to figure out how we solve that tourism industry kind of problem? So my role really with the department is to be that liaison with the industry 
to take those challenges that nobody says, oh, that's mine, I'll take it, and figure out how do you convene and figure out those people. So my role is broad, but very enjoyable. Thank you, Stephanie. Laverne, I just got to say, get an ag specialist just like her. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. Thank you. And I want to thank you for um, your presentation today. And if um, any of the council members have further questions, they will be contacting your office directly. You're welcome, Beth. Uh, thank you. And I'd like to um, apologize.